Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 10th of December, Thursday of the week of Advent 2. The reading, Jerome 340, 420, from letter 53. I beg of you, my dear brother, to live among these books of scriptures, to meditate upon them to know nothing else, to seek nothing else. Does not such a life seem to you a foretaste of heaven here on earth? Let not the simplicity of the scripture or the poorness of its vocabulary offend you. For these are due either to the faults of the translator or God's deliberate purpose. For in this way, scripture is better fitted for the instruction of an ordinary congregation. The educated person can take one meaning, the uneducated another from one and the same sentence. I am not so dull or so bold as to profess that I myself know it, or that I can pluck upon the earth a fruit which has its root in heaven, but I confess that I am hungry to do so. I may put myself before another reader of scriptures, and while I lay no claim to be master, I readily pledge myself to be a fellow student. Let every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Let us learn upon earth that knowledge which will continue with us in heaven. The prayer, Thomas Aquinas, 1225, 1274. O creator past all telling, you have appointed from the treasures of your wisdom the hierarchies of angels, disposing them in wondrous order above the bright heavens and have so beautifully set out all parts of the universe. You we call the true font of wisdom and the noble origin of all things. Be pleased to shed on the darkness of mind in which I was born the twofold beam of your light and warmth to dispel my ignorance and sin. You make eloquent the tongues of children then instruct my speech and touch my lips with graciousness. Make me keen to understand, quick to learn, able to remember. Make me delicate to interpret and ready to speak. Guide my going in and going forward. Lean home my going forth. You are true God and true man and live forever and ever Amen.